Here, let's look at this demand curve for condoms. Notice how it has a negative slope. It doesn't have to be a straight line. Maybe in your textbook it is. But the most important thing is that it has a negative slope, showing the law of demand as an inverse relationship. But an inverse relationship between what? Simply between price and quantity demanded. But what we're saying is that this demand curve consists of many different combinations of prices and quantity demanded. I could have put in another price here, $8, followed it out to this point. Here would be the quantity demanded. That looks like about 1.75, which doesn't make sense because we can only buy whole packs of condoms. On the other hand, you understand what we mean. We mean that this relationship shows that as price falls, quantity demanded is going to increase. Be careful. Even though this line is going down, remember that as it goes down, which shows prices falling, it's also moving to the right. Since the zero is over here, by moving to the right, quantity demanded is increasing as you move along the demand curve. One thing we forgot, the law of demand says that there's an inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded, ceteris paribus. Ceteris paribus, which means everything else held constant. I'll give you a quick example. Wouldn't your demand for condoms be affected by your income? Let's say that you made twice as much as you make today. This relationship would need to be redrawn. I think that you'd be able to probably afford more condoms at any trip to the drugstore. So your demand relationship, if income changed, which is not on this graph, would probably look something like this. I'll call it D1. That would mean that at every price, quantity demanded would have increased. At every price, quantity demanded would have increased. We don't see that on this first demand curve. And the reason is, what did we do with your income when we drew the first demand curve? Simple. We assumed that it was held constant. When it's held constant, that means that the demand curve simply shows you the relationship between price and quantity demanded, holding factors like income, ceteris paribus, constant. That was perfect. That was awesome.